All right, hey, what is going on there traders? Chris Averillo Trading. And this video, we're gonna demonstrate a custom study that had been written by Frozen Tundra Trader. If you don't know who that is, go check out his YouTube channel. And he made a video demonstrating this exact study. And basically, I'll link you to his video, but check out his YouTube channel, Frozen Tundra Trader. This is the video he made called Adjustable Price Column on Sierra Chart Dom like Jigsaw. So this is the study that we created. Well, he pretty much created it. I just told him what to do. Um, but it's cool because it says at the top, written by Frozen Tundra and Guitar Madillo. Guitar Madillo, who in the world is that? I can't imagine. Okay, so let me give you an example of what this study does here now. So on this chart book, I'm using the study to condense the price scale for these four markets, not the one on the right there. That's the S&P 500 futures. Now here's the regular chart book with the regular price column and Sierra chart. And you can see here on particular symbols like the two year treasury note, you can see how wide the price column is. Now, really the only advantage with this study is the fact that we can condense our DOMs a little more, condense our charts um, in the case that you use correlations or that you're trying to follow these markets at the same time as one another. Um, it can help reduce the movement of your eyes. I know that's kind of like a weird use case, but if you're kind of an active trader and you understand how correlations work and how correlated these markets can be sometimes, um, you will understand the benefit of this. So the difference here, um, again, without and then with, you can see that I can condense the DOMs a little bit more, have a much thinner price scale. So that way when I'm paying attention to what these markets are doing, my eyes are basically in the center of my screen. I don't have to move around too much. And my font sizes are pretty wide and I might even make them bigger um, to kind of keep track of those values a little bit easier. So again, I like it. I think it's very helpful. Now we're going to talk about some of the disadvantages of it. Now, if you want to learn about how the study is made and the, the code behind it, um, what you'll do is go watch Frozen's video and he explains everything about it and he explains everything that he's done. What's really good about the way Frozen uh, codes things is that he comments these um, instructions at the top of it and where he basically explains exactly what this code is being used for. What was really interesting about this particular study is that we had worked on this right here, which I guess print the proper price formatting for very specific symbols that trade in fractions like US treasuries. So here we have, there's a specific case for ZF and ZN that trade in quarter 30 seconds and half 30 seconds. And then there's another specific case here for the ZT two year treasury note, which trades in eighth 30 seconds. Um, yeah. So that's going to be that. And then uh, there's the rest of the code. So go check out his video if you want to learn about the code there. Now, I want to explain to you the disadvantages of this study. So the only differences between this and the traditional value scale in Sierra chart are as follows. So as you can see here on the traditional value scale, um, there's the crosshair tool value that appears on the value scale. Now, I'm pretty much used to that uh, in my own way of trading, um, but it's really not, you know, that bad. As you can see, it highlights the price that you're hovering over um, on the traditional value scale, whereas on this one, it does not. Now, honestly, that's not really a big deal because you can even see the price at the top of your scale there. You see at the very top of my chart, I can still see the price I'm highlighting over. And uh, the second issue here is, of course, if you are using you know the regular value scale in Sierra chart, um, the value scale is normally used to you know shift the position of your chart and also condense the value scale and widen it if, if you do that, okay? So that is obviously something that you will not be able to do with this new um, value scale. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, I will show you some workarounds. So the first workaround with this is that your scroll wheel, for example, your mouse scroll wheel function in Sierra chart, you can change that. Now I have mine set so that it scrolls up and down the value scale. Now the way you change that I believe is in global settings, general settings, scroll wheel. I have it set to scroll wheel, scroll the vertical scale of the chart. Now, of course you can set that to whatever you want. So in the scenario that the market is moving up and down a lot and um, I just need to kind of view a higher price, I'll just scroll up and down the chart. For my particular chart book, I do not need to change the scaling of the chart like that. Um, if you are trading, you know, a very specific markets and you're changing the, the symbol of your chart around, like for example, you know, if I opened up a different chart book here, um, where you had like a stock on it, and then you wanted to always change the value scale around, 
probably this study would not be good for those markets. But again, you can also argue that for stocks, this study is not even necessary. Actually, this study is probably designed best for US treasuries or any market that has a particularly wide price scale in Sierra chart and you want to definitely uh, make that less wide. So I think that's kind of what this study is designed for. You know, of course, you're not going to be able to change the scale. Now, what I did notice still is that you can access the scale settings of your chart just by right clicking anywhere except for the uh, left side of your chart right here, where is um, where the chart values are. But in the trading DOM columns or the chart DOM columns, if you right click anywhere, you'll be able to access the scale settings right here. So that is, you know, important. And that's uh, good to know, I guess. Okay, but you, you will not be able to use this column to change the scaling of the chart as you would normally with the um, traditional value scale. Okay, so that's one downside of that. But basically, that's all the problem. That's the only problem that there is, you know, everything works as it does with the other chart. And of course, um, you know, that's going to be it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add the study to your chart. There's a few steps here. So just pay attention. The first thing is you're going to need to download the code for the study and you will do that. I'll provide the link down below. And you will get a file that has a file extension dot CPP. And you will put that into this particular folder right here in your Sierra chart. Um, folder path, find it, go to ACS source, drop the file in here. And it'll be looking something like this where it says dot CPP at the end of it. And actually, it will be this exact one right here price in a label dot CPP. Okay, so once you have that there, you're going to have to compile the study. So you will go up to analysis, then you go to build custom studies DLL. And you need to find the study here, select the file, put it here, and then you select build and remote build that then it will create a .dll file in your Sierra chart data folder. And now when you select a chart and you go over to analysis and then studies for the chart, or you press F6, then we go over to add custom study. And in your list of custom studies, you will see this new study right here, which is called DOM price in a label column. And you will add this study to your chart like this. And this particular study, let us take a look at it. So let's apply that so we see. So you can see that the study appears here. Now, in order for it to go into a DOM column, we need to add a specific column onto our trading DOM or chart DOM. Since this video has been filmed, Frozen released an update for this where he created a new input where you can actually choose three different columns to uh, direct these values into. And those three columns are as follows. So right now the studies on my chart. Next, we need to go into the menu to customize the trading uh, DOM column. So we will go to trade and then customize chart slash trade DOM columns. By the way, I would recommend hot keying this menu, especially if you're configuring a chart book. So you can see here now we have access to the all of the different chart DOM columns we can add. So we will add the label column because I'm using the first version. It only targets the label column, but in some cases, traders might use the label column for something else. In that case, you can also send it to the general purpose one or general purpose two columns. So now that I've added the label column to my chart, I will select apply. And you can see now that the values appear in that label column. So take a look right there. The next thing you need to do, of course, is hide or remove the value scale for your chart. And the way you do that is in the chart settings for your chart. So I will press F5 to get into that menu or go to chart and then chart settings. And then you'll go over to scale and where we have hide value scale, you need to turn this on for your chart. And when I do that, um, you will see that the value scale had disappeared there. Okay. Now the value scale disappears or it's being hidden away. But what you also need to know here is that the positioning of the value scale in your column order stays the same. So if you look closely, you can see there's two lines right there. Now, probably those two lines are a little ugly for you. So you're going to move them away. So you'll move basically, what you will do is move that price column either to the very end or just somewhere else. I think putting it at the very end on the right side is the best option. Everything is fine. Thank you very much, Frozen. You're an awesome coder. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.